What's up, guys? Um, well, it's 9.45 here on a Sunday morning in California. So I haven't had my coffee just yet. <laughs> um, I try to go through these fast, man. I had um, one hell of a mail day yesterday. I think I got like seven or, or six items in. And then I had a couple things trickling a couple days before there, so um, we'll go over these real fast. Um, for the golf set I've been working on, um, two golf Hall of Famers, Davis Love the Third, which is the first Davis Love autograph I've had, and Lenny Wadkins, Wadkins, excuse me. The camera didn't want to work this morning. The camera hadn't had his coffee. Um, some NASCAR stuff, Kenny Schrader, Glenn Wood is a NASCAR Hall of Famer, and Donnie Allison, it's been a while since I got some of his, and he also sent me this, so that's that, um, what else, what else? My book finally came in, my Dan Pastorini book. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, this book here. I think it's going to be uh, NC-17. You know what I mean? I think that thing's going to be dirty. Um, purchase. Shane Graham. Um, formerly of the Texans. <laughs> TriStar authenticated. I think I got it for like fifteen dollars shipped. So I think I think that day I bought that. I was just kind of bored. I wanted to get some Texans items, so <coughs> I did. Brandon Barnes, in care of the Colorado Rocky Spring Training address. Signed two of two. I was pretty excited to get this one for the price I did. Um, Hall of Fame announcer Ford Frick winner Milo Hamilton. I'm probably going to be buying maybe two or three more of his autographs. Um, Mr. Hamilton is extremely um, old. So um, last time I seen him, I didn't think he was looking that well at all. And that was probably three, four years ago, so <clears throat> I could only imagine. I know he's he's not doing Astros um, play by play anymore, and I think he does they got like Astro Line. I think he does that like once a week, once every two weeks, so just an hour long radio T V show. <laughs> or excuse me, radio show. Um, I got some cards in for the ninety one Dunrest set. So Adelie Haymaker. And on there he just wrote, um, God bless, thanks for your service for our country. And then he inscribed John 14.6. Didn't see that inscription there before. I'll have to take a peek at that. Um, Sid Breen. I sent a dollar, to, a dollar donation. And then he wrote Romans 5.8. Luis Gonzalez care of the Diamondback Spring Training, I believe. And that one came back. It was really fast. It was, I believe, less than a week. And then this one was super cool. Um, all the results on Star Tiger are... So I didn't think I was going to get anything back. But there it is. Um, you really can't tell because he wrote it in pen. And it's going up his leg to his hip. But uh, let's see if we can get this thing to focus. Oil Camboid. Come on. Yeah, you can see that it's signed there, but even though it's not focused. Nope, it ain't gonna work. Sorry guys. Um, but he wrote a big old note on the bottom of my note. And um, it says, Thanks for your service, oil can. My brothers my brothers' uncles were in the Navy. Smiley face. Um, USS Enterprise, USS Midway, USS Independence, USS Ronald Reagan. 
and then he wrote down all the family members that he has that have uh, served in the military. Um, Steve Boyd, uh, Willie Boyd, Neil Boyd, Stephen M. Boyd, um, Ben McKay, Jesse McKay, I'm sorry, McCoy. Ben McCoy, Jesse McCoy, and Willie McCoy. So, um, very cool. Sounds like he comes from a long, long line of military, which is good, man. It's uh, highly respectable. Um, back to the Dunruss set. <clears throat> I sent this off with a, I think it was like a $5 donation to his address. And it was like $5 per card, so I thought I'd just send the 5 bucks and try to get two things signed. And I did. So, to me, that's well worth it. I really like Kevin Bass. I might even send him a, a baseball and a pen and 5 bucks to try to get signed. Um, this is my second one. If this guy, one of my favorite country artists right now, um, Easton Corbin. Love the picture. Love the autograph. Top notch return for the week right there. Uh, let's see a couple more things, guys. I'll let y'all go. I got in uh, Houston Oilers Hall of Famer. I never pronounce this dude's name. Elvin Bethay. Booyah! Got it right. His last name always messes me up. Um, but neither one of these are my cards that I sent him. Um, he sent me a price sheet and everything. Um, I want to say I sent him like two or three bucks. Um, and he said for a card it's ten dollars. And then he sent me two autograph cards back. So I don't know how that works. <laughs> but um, he sent me this guy. And thought a Hall of Fame inscription on it. And he sent me this guy. Uh, not showing up very well, but there's no Hall of Fame inscription on this one. So, I don't know. I guess I could have done $10 for one of my autographs or $2 for two of his. So, I guess I won. <laughs> um, got in Ray Childress again. Um, this is not, again, my card that I sent him. I'll show you what I sent him. And I even sent him a donation hoping he would do it. Um, I found a guy on what is it, Sports Card Forum that was um, makes custom cards. So I was trying to make a Houston Oilers cut autograph booklet. And he said it was going to run me about $100. And, he, and I said, you know, you just mail these little pieces of index. Now you want to focus. <laughs> you um, send off these little pieces of paper or index paper to athletes and if they sign them and he's like get the guys that you want to sign them and then mail them into me we'll make you a booklet well, I sent I sent two of those off to Ray Childress and he didn't sign them <sighs> so oh well that's that um, but I did get back Mr. Robert Brazil aka Dr. Doom so he signed one for me come on well, that's as good as it's going to get today. So, I was excited to get that. But I sent him two, and I, I asked him in my note, I'm like, hey, one of them, can you inscribe Love You Blue? And that's all he did. <laughs> so, oh, man, this camera's pissing me off. Um, so, I don't know what to do with that one. And I don't know if I sent it back to him, hoping he'll sign it or what. But, um, oh. The biggest return of the week, if I almost forgot. Um, I got gloves in and got some batting gloves in. Um, when I was in Pensacola, I kind of ran out of guys that I wanted to send batting glove um, requests to. And um, in the sports card forum, I kind of put it out there kind of tactfully, but without just asking, like, hey, is there anyone out there that you guys would want to send to? And then if I get it back, I'll just trade it to you. And so I got a bunch of returns, and I I've, I sent some out, and I got some of them back. I got the Jock Peterson, I believe it is, um, uh, Dodgers prospect, and I got a couple more. But I got this in yesterday, and it had the little forwarding address for my old address and all that good stuff. And I would have never, I thought my 
all my batting glove days were over because I haven't sent a request out for batting gloves in probably eight months. But um, Caleb Cowart, he is an Angels prospect. I believe he's one of their top ten prospects. So there is that. So super cool. Um, so those are for trade, not for sale, for trade only. Um, I don't, I'm not a big Angels guy, and I'm not a big Caleb Coward guy, so if he's going to be a stud, I don't know. Um, so that's that, guys. I got a ton of stuff I'm mailing out this week. These are already ready to rock and roll. And then... Man, this video out of coffee shit's rough, dude. I'm sure I'm boring as hell. And then these. All of these just need letters in them. And then they will be ready to go. So hopefully I can do some of that today. So I'm um, sorry for the long and mundane, boring video, guys. No coffee means no, no fun. My little man, my sidekick, is still asleep upstairs. Um, so that's that. I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Adios.